the end of an era. Uh, it kind of is. I've been in this studio for three and a half years. Time to move on. Sorry for the echo, because we've bought a house. Uh, I've got a new studio to get set up here. Farewell, old studio. You've been good. Time to move on. You've been watching clips of me, by the way, the past two weeks, packing, cleaning, and moving. We've already done the big move. We've just been doing the final cleanup now of the old place, that terrible moving limbo when you have to go back to your old place and clean it up and clear out all the random little nooks and crannies while you're trying to settle into your new place. But, and now it's time to get the new studio set up. So, you ready? You wanna come see it? Come on, come on, let's go. Welcome to the new studio. As you can see, it's very much a work in progress, but let me give you a brief overview tour of sort of some of my general plans. This is gonna take me a while to really fully unpack and get nestled in here. Uh, needless to say, it is about twice the size of my previous workspace, so I've got a lot to work with in here. I still have things to unpack, to unsettle. Uh, we've had a lot of work going on at the house in the past two weeks. I don't think I've even checked in. The last clip you saw in our previous house, I think was maybe like three weeks ago. So it has been a while. It has been a minute here, okay? So let me give you a quick little overview of kind of the space, how I have things put in here. Again, uh, we've been doing a lot of construction here at the house, just doing a lot of demo stuff. We had to completely redo all of the electrical in our house. We had to literally rewire the entire house. So I have had electricians in my house for literally the past two weeks. It's been really intense. <sighs> There's been people in and out of my house literally for the past three weeks. And it's just been really intense and it's still not over. It's still not over. However, the electrical work is done in this room. Thank goodness. There was no holes needed in this room. And I'm so grateful for that because the rest of my house looks like Swiss cheese with how many holes are in my walls. Not the case in here. Thank goodness. So. I was able to kind of put furniture in general where I want it to go. Obviously, lots of organizing, lots of unpacking, lots of figuring out where things are gonna go still to do, but I can give you a high level little tour of kind of some of my general plans. All right, so first up we walk in, uh, I've got a wall here, uh, which I think would be really fun to either paint with something fun, like a fun mural, or maybe I put some wallpaper in there. I don't know, there's lots of white in the house right now and you know I just wanna come in and add so much color, so much festive stuff. So I'm really looking forward to being able to do that in this house. But right when we come in, we do have a little book nook. I have set up a book nook. Book nook video, it's either gonna come up before or after this where it was me sort of organizing my books and putting together this bookshelf over here. It has since already been rearranged uh, because I had to move all this stuff for the electrical for them to get to an outlet back there. So it's already, it's already out of order. It's already not how I had intended it. This chair ended up coming in here. It was not part of my original plan. Oh, hello, Dante. It was not part of my original plan, but I have lots of space in here, as you can see. This was a chair that didn't fit in my kiddo's room anymore, and I oddly am attached to it, which is saying a lot because I don't really get sentimental about things. I'm sentimental about this chair because it was... I, we got it when we were when I was pregnant with him. You know, I've had many of late nights with a baby in this chair, and so I just am not ready to part with it. Not to mention, it's very comfortable. It swivels, it rocks, it kicks up. It's got it like fully reclines. It's very cozy, and it fits in here nicely. So, why not? That is what has inspired the book nook, uh, which you see a little bit over here. I did get this bookshelf over here. I already want to get something different. I already am thinking I want to get a bigger bookshelf to go here and then pivot the chair to be in this corner here. So I'm, I'm already in my brain making plans for something else. Um, and then I'll probably move this into our master bedroom is what I'm thinking there. Already making changes. It's all good. So that's kind of what's happening over here. Yeah, you will notice too my blue art cart. Hello. 
fluffy socks. My blue art cart I have turned into my TBR cart, so it is full of books. Again, it's gonna be in that video. Uh, you'll see that. We've got nice big closet storage, significantly larger than my last one. I've got double doors here. I have shelving inside of there with outlets, all sorts of stuff. I'm not gonna dig into it now because it's kind of a hot mess in there, but I'm hoping to organize that inside really nicely. I have bin, storage bins sort of stacked up on one side. I'm gonna be able to put my printer in there. Potentially the dollhouse, all sorts of stuff is going over there. Uh, I do have a pop-up table back there that I am figuring out what to do with that. It's either gonna be something I pop up and use as needed in the studio that will live in here, or it will go over here in this space in between there. I have not decided yet. Um, as you can see, one of the big perks of the new studio is all of the windows. I don't have any overhead lighting on right now. It's actually a very overcast day. Well, minus my ring light, but as you can see, I get a lot of natural light in here. It's probably one of the brighter rooms of the house. I definitely scored uh, as far as that goes. I've actually been able to do quite a bit of filming, like overhead art filming with no ring light, just filming with window light, and it's been amazing. So I'm looking forward to doing more of that. But as you can tell, I, I had limited options as far as it comes to where to put my desk. So I stuck it here because obviously I don't want to block this window. I have this weird beam thing happening here that needs to get touched up. I also don't like my back like completely to the doorway. At least I'm sort of at an angle over here. The other thing too is that I have built-in storage. So obviously still lots of unpacking to do, but I have all these drawers and built-in shelving over here. Again, I need to go through all of this. So you guys, this looks like a hot mess right now. It's not gonna stay like this. I don't even know if some of these things are gonna stay in here, but I have gotten some things in the drawers already. Like this top drawer is gonna be my paper drawer. So it's all just pads of paper and and transfer paper and wax paper, um, all things that lay nice and flat. This drawer here is my friendship bracelets and mini journal drawer. So it's all stuff for mini journals and it's all organized into bags and uh, little bins. So I know that that's in there. I have a whole Disney junk journal drawer. So everything is just my Disney junk journal stuff, my Disney pins. And I don't even know, oh, down there I have finished sketchbooks and art journals, but I do want to come in here and organize all of this, make like a little ephemera shelf, make like a tarot shelf, organize stuff I don't get to up there. This has been a real game changer for me as far as figuring out furniture because I was able to get rid of a number of those like black Ikea cubes that I used to have. And then that brings us to this long wall here that is in between the door and the built-in shelves. I kind of always knew I wanted this to be the shop zone. Uh, I have to re again readjust some of this because I was moving this for electrical work but um, essentially table nice and centered and then um, a shelf on either side. And uh, this will be Etsy shop zone. So um, I'm already thinking I can get some like upper shelves installed on the wall, which would be really nice. I could put my label maker up there, stuff that I can kind of reach for when I'm packing orders. All of these shelves are being turned into Etsy shop stuff, which is very exciting. So I feel like it's a nice generalization of how I'm gonna use the space where I've got sort of book nook over here. We go into filming and work table here, built-in storage behind there, and then we've got Etsy shop stuff over here. So I have kind of some designated little zones in here that I think will be nice. What do you think, Schmuppy? What do you think? Uh, as you can tell, Dante has picked out his new perch. Dante's new peak is the rocking chair, even though I have a bed for him over there. He's wants nothing to do with it. But there you have it. That is the studio. It's pretty exciting. Nice and big and new. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it kind of transforms. I mean, look at the lighting in here. Isn't this crazy? It's crazy. I have no lights on. I just turned my ring light off. This is just how bright it is in here. A nice upgrade from what I had previously because you guys know I've been working in some dungeons these last few years from the last room that I was in. I was very grateful for that space, but it was very small, very jam packed. And I had a very tiny window that faced a garage wall. So it didn't even like have real good sunlight that came in there. It's kind of brutal. Um, the time before that I was working out of a garage. Um, so it's been a real, interesting journey of studio spaces um but i'm happy to be in this one here it feels like such an upgrade and i'm so grateful to have this space and to own it and to own it 
Um, which is really exciting because it means I can really go buck wild here. I can go really wild with the decorating and I'm really excited. And a, and a cloud just went over, so our lighting is not gonna be consistent, sorry about it. It's been a real chaotic move, as I sort of hinted at. We've been doing a lot of work as far as demoing things, tearing down a big fence in our yard, uh, tearing out old cabinets in our garage, and then of course doing a full electrical work, which was a lot. So it just feels like I've been in house mode and I've been in construction mode kind of non-stop. It's been, it's been pretty relentless. Today at the time that I'm filming this is actually April 4th. So it's literally been a solid three weeks uh, since I last talked to you. So it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. But here we are, slowly nesting in. So uh, be prepared for lots of studio vlogs where it's me unpacking and just nesting things. Cause I think that's what's gonna be going on. Um, I have a lot of work ahead as far as like resetting up my Etsy shop space. This is gonna be its own thing. Finishing unpacking and getting situated all of my art supplies. Just slowly trying to get back into it, like a routine or a groove of some things. But you know, I look forward to really kind of playing around in this space too of, you know, painting some walls, doing some wallpaper, maybe doing a mural. I don't know, it's very exciting. I'm already cooking up ideas of doing a big mural out on our garage outside on our patio. It's just really fun. It's just a, such a different feeling being a homeowner versus a renter. It's a lot of work, obviously. We've had a lot of unexpected hiccups along the way, but either way, I'm tremendously grateful and excited and, and the work feels different, right? It feels a little different when you own it versus when you are a renter. So it just it, it's just a really nice feeling, um, but I'm tired. I'm very, very tired. But yeah, beyond getting kind of the rest of the electrical work done, which is still not, still not done, I'm now finally at a place where I can finish unpacking, start getting things settled and situated and, and documenting that process for you guys as well. While I have you, I do have some packages to open up that I picked up from my PO box that I do wanna open up on camera with you, so. Let me get them here. I already know I'm gonna have to change my camera battery because I see it, I see it dwindling away here, but let's open up some things. First up, I have an envelope from Belgium. So let's take a look at what is this. I do see a Disney envelope of some sort on the outside. So something tells me maybe there's some Disney things in here. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty big though. Let me get this out and change my battery, hold on. And we're back. I also forgot that I made myself a cup of coffee and completely forgot about it. Okay, I spy some Disney stuff. Oh, this is from Rish. This is from Risha. Some of this has been in my PO box for a while, so sorry this has taken me a minute to open this up. I promise to send you some stickers we can collect from the grocery store and I'm sending you sending you the duplicates with this card. Figured you might be able to do something with your junk journal or something else. Thank you so much. Oh my God, how fun is this? Oh my gosh, they're little, are the stickers in the, oh, okay, so this is some of the packaging. Okay, that's really cute. How fun, this is going right into the Disney Junk Journal, which by the way, I am gearing up to start a new Disney Junk Journal this year because my other one is almost full. It's almost full. Ooh, there's all sorts of fun stuff in here. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Are these tattoos? Okay, we got some Disney tattoos. Super cute. Those are, those are definitely gonna get used, oh my gosh. And then a whole bunch of like collectible Disney stickers. It's funny that some of them are like cast members dressed up at the park, that's really funny. Look at all these, ah, they're all gonna get used. Oh, there's a big pile, look at the Coco one. Oh, there's so many, there's so many. Ah. Okay, amazing. Uh, Risha, thank you so much for sending me these. These are a thousand percent gonna get used in my planner journal, my junk journal. Cannot wait. Um, thank you so much, that was so thoughtful of you to send me your duplicate stickers, so thank you. Okay, next up we have a package from uh, Leah P. Uh, thank you so much, I'm, I, I just opened it and like a whole bunch of stuff like exploded out of it, which is really exciting. I was out searching for ephemera at antique stores and saw these Happy Meal bags and I had to get them for you. Also added in vintage Disney stickers that I've had since I was a kid. Hope you enjoy your amazing Leah. Oh my God, that's so nice of you. Look how cute even just this paper is. That is so sweet of you. Wow, look at these. Oh, no way. Oh my God. What? Okay, they're actually dated. It says they're from 99. Wow. These are so cool. I cannot get over it. What am I gonna do with these? Oh my God. I love this big Jesse one. 
That is so fun. Okay, so this must have been all for the promo of Toy Story 2. Oh my God, I'm not worthy. I am not worthy. And then we have Mr. Potato Head. Oh my God. Wow, my mind is kind of blown right now. Wow. Oh, oh my God. This is so cool. This is making me want to like, immediately start doing some Disney junk journaling, not gonna lie. Okay, wait, there's even more. Hold on, I have to get through all these things. Um, I also wanna share these stickers, which I believe is some of her work. So I wanted to share that before I continue. That is really cool. I feel like I could put one of these in my Kindle, which you guys, I bought a Kindle. We'll talk about it in another video, but oh my God. And then we have a whole bunch of stickers. Ah! These must be the stickers. Uh, that she'd been saving from when she was a kid. That is amazing. I feel so honored that you have passed on your Disney stickers from your childhood. Thank you so much. They will absolutely get good use here. Actually, I can put these right into my Disney sticker book, which is very exciting. Very exciting. Oh, same with the ones that Risha sent me. Okay, Disney sticker book is getting a major upgrade today. Very exciting. Um, and then we have some scrapbook paper which I will always say yes to, so that is amazing. And then, oh, okay. Okay, something else that Leah does is that she makes handmade watercolors. It's some of my favorite stuff that I use. I have some of her colors in my like main set. Um, she's, she puts together these really great like curated paint sets and I take them apart and I've put them into my own little kind of ones, but I love them. They're super pigmented, they're lovely to use, and she has sent me two sets of some watercolor, and I could not be more excited about this. So we have, oh my God, even the packaging is so cute. I'm gonna put links to her Etsy shop down below and her social media, so if you guys wanna check out these paints yourself, you can. I fully endorse these watercolor paints because I love them. So this was her Sanderson sister set. So you have one of each of the Sanderson sisters in there. Ooh, I cannot wait to open this up and play with this. Aaliyah's neutral tones, and I think there's a gray, the gray in here I think that I use is one of her colors and I love it. I love it. This one is her Arizona set. Oh, that's pretty, look at that yellow. Ah! And so there is the other set. Look at this yellow and look at this like peachy color. Ooh, and this one up here. Ooh, and this one. I'm actually almost out of my red that's in my palette, so I might just immediately swap the Sedona uh, shade into my little palette here. Um, and then of course we've got a little swatch card in the lid as well. Love it, cannot wait to play with these. Ah! Leah, thank you so much. That was so incredibly generous of you. Cannot wait to use all these things. Thank you so, so much. Okay, last package here to wrap up our PO box mail. This looks like this is from Sarah. M on this really fun little mailer. Oh, it's a book. It's a book. Oh, Sarah. <gasps> it's Sarah's book. Oh my God. Wow, look at this cover. Okay, Sarah, this is so legit. My mind is kind of blown. Charm is a traitor, a witch, a whore, a prisoner, a survivor, and now she must also solve the emperor's murder. Whoa. Okay, so um, the bone orchard. Sarah, I did not know uh, you had a book. This is insane. This is insane. Add this to the TBR. Also love that it's like a really delicious matte cover on the jacket here. Oh, and look at the pink foil on the spine. Thank you so much for sending me your book. It's going right into my TBR cart, which is very, very exciting. All right, this concludes P.O. Box un unpackaging, unboxing, P.O. Box unboxing. Thank you again if you uh, if you guys send me stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Um, especially just stuff with, you know, projects in mind. Like, I, I mean, like, this is just so cool. I It, like, gets me excited to go make art, so thank you very much. Uh, there's never any pressure to send me stuff, guys, but when you do, I, I really do appreciate it, so thank you. Okay, what's on tap now? My brain is a little fried. I've been trying to work on my five-year journal here. I am still trying to finish last year. But I am in December, which is good, so we're making, we're making headway on this. And I've just been filming a lot of videos because I'm finally to a place where I've caught up with my pre-scheduled things and things that I had pre-recorded and filmed. I'm run, I've run out of content, so I'm at a point now where I need to actually be filming things for YouTube and Patreon. So that's primarily what I've been doing today is filming five-year journal stuff 
and planner journal with me stuff, both for Patreon, but then I can kind of start to shift gears for some YouTube videos because I have some YouTube video ideas. Um, a reading journal with me kind of thing because I have a bunch of just reading journal pages I need to do for books that I've already finished. So I thought that could be a kind of, it's fun, its own YouTube video. Uh, and then of course the studio vlog, which I'm doing here, which at some point I do need to get in and, doing, and start doing some organizing in here which maybe we'll tack on uh, at some point in this video. But um, welcome to the new studio, guys. A lot of work ahead, but uh, it's all good stuff. Very exciting. A lot of work to do, but it's an exciting place to be. Hello, uh, I think the last clip you saw was me starting to organize some of the built-in shelves in here. Lots still to do, um, but at least I at least I got through a box. <laughs> There's still a lot to do, but at least I got through one more box and I got through, I got all that sort of somewhat sorted. Um, it's one of those things too, I've just learned with as you set up your workspace, you kind of need to work in it and live in it for a little bit. I mean, I guess it's like that with any space that you live in, right? I need to kind of work in here and see what I grab and, you know, it will it will just help me prioritize where to put things or what shelf or what tier or what have you. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how it's arranged up there right now. So I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Ooh, what is my hair doing today? It's in a clip and it's driving me crazy. Still have lots to do, obviously. My whole Etsy shop, wall over here is still a hot mess and I need to get to that. I am, however, a little distracted. I'm not distracted. No, I'm distracted. I am a little distracted, however. I'm in the mood to make some art and um, that's always the, the thing, right? You have a thousand things you should be doing, but uh, that's when the inkling to make art comes up. I just have some things that I had kind of started a while ago and it's it's really been percolating in my brain and I want to kind of return to it. And it's a zine that I had started a while ago. I want to say like a year ago, maybe at this point. It was a separate journal that I was kind of working on. And then from that journal, I kind of spurred into some original work, some original pieces that I had made. And now I've kind of returned back to the zine that I had sort of started with it. Cause I had, again, I had started with this concept as a journal and I know I'm being really vague with this, I'm sorry. Um, it had started as like a mixed media journal. And then I just realized that there were like text that I really wanted to add to it. And I just, I thought, you know what? This needs to be a zine. It, it needs to be a zine. Anytime that I have like a memory or a feeling or like a story that I'm trying to tell or revisit, the zines are just the best format for me because it's where I feel comfortable adding text because I don't really like adding text or words in my other mixed media work or stuff that I do on canvases. So I literally just dug it out. I dug out the zine that I had already started like a year ago. I found another project that I had also started which I can't share on camera because it is a online class idea. So I'm kind of toggling between a few things right now. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got this zine out and I kind of just want to play around with it. I don't know. It's, it's just something that's really in the front of my brain right now. And I really, I really want to work on it. So I am ignoring my responsibilities and things that I should be doing. And I'm going to make art instead. And I always say it, if the feeling or desire to create or make art comes up, chase that feeling because how many times, you know, do you sit down and be like, I'm going to make art today. And then you just end up sitting there or you dilly dally and you don't actually end up doing any real productive work. Um, I think so much of that is just that creative urge to create. If that urge is present in any way, shape or form, chase it while it's there because you just never know what you might end up making. I'm just going to dabble with the zine see where we end up and just sort of play around while I offload footage off of my other camera. Let's see, I don't know. I'm just gonna have a little art sesh. We'll see what I get up to.
All right, hello. Back again working on the studio space here. Going to try to start to organize this chaos behind me, which is Etsy shop stuff. I hear Dante coming. I think he lost me. Shmuppy. Oh, there he is. Oh, we got the pug dog. I need to organize all this stuff behind me. This is all Etsy shop stuff. Etsy, the Etsy shop wall. I would like to get to a point where I may be reopening my Etsy shop because right now I'm not shipping any physical stuff right now. It'd be nice to get this set up uh, and to get this computer set up as well. I need to do some things on it, digital downloads for Patreon, also some new digital downloads for Etsy. There's just a lot, there's just a lot that, that I need to organize and sort of figure this out. Because right now it's just a big old pile, pile of a mess. So let's get to it. Oh, he's a pug dog. He's a pug dog. Are you a good boy? <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Okay, so quick update. We have a slightly more organized wall situation over here. Let me walk you through what I've done. Obviously, it kind of goes without saying, as I was kind of nesting things away here, it's just really apparent that none of this is permanent in any way, shape, or form. I need to kind of get back into the flow of packing orders again and see what I like where, and just see where I like stuff, you know? <laughs> I think that's the main thing. So. I have my general plan, which was this rack over here was going to be all inventory. So merchandise inventory is all on that side. So you can see I have all of these. Let me, let me just flip you around. Let me, let me flip you around. All right, so Etsy shop wall tour. Here we go. Um, again, very loosely placed in here. There's still a lot that I wanna do. This is like the inventory merchandise side of things. And then on the other side is all packing and shipping materials and other sort of packing and shipping things down there, like labels, envelopes, um, kind of stuff like that. So up at the top is where I thought that I could put the tarot card prints because they stand pretty tall. So I figured those would work well in there. I turned these containers sideways so that I could fit more prints in there. This goes without saying, I move stuff around with my Etsy shop setup all the time, depending on what kind of inventory I have in stock, how much of it I have, it really just varies like month to month, honestly, when like when my Etsy shop is in full gear here. Um, we've got my sticker drawer set up, which I love, love the sticker drawer situation here. I've got zines, some stickers. This is another kind of like, I usually put zines in this. So at some point I'll need to unpack that and get that situated. Um, these are all tarot card prints, uh, bookmarks, um, other containers. I always have like leftover containers, but I save these. Because again, if I have a certain type of inventory, certain type of packing material, whatever, I can pull it out and use it, especially like small boxes like this, I reuse all the time. So I will save random packaging, random boxes for things um, and try to repurpose it and it's really helpful. Um, down here is again, just more inventory, zine prints, bookmarks, washi tape, there's a bunch of stickers in there. Um, all of it needs to kind of really get fully unpacked and situated, which I figured I'll probably do when I do like an inventory count before I actually reopen my Etsy shop. Here is the desk situation. I always like my computer shoved off to one side so that I have like a packing station area. Um, what I want to do, I have these two wooden shelves that actually match these big boys like perfectly. And I think what I wanna try to do is install them here so that I have a, an overhead shelf with the dream that this sort of stuff can go up on the overhead shelf, maybe even my label printer thing. Just making another like functional space above here I think would be really nice. And it is easy when I'm like packing an order here, I can kind of grab things from up here. Um, do you like that? Do you like that hand motion? So that's kind of what's going on there. Underneath, I have just extra little bins. This happens all the time. I put extra bins and boxes underneath there. Again, we talked about the shelves. And then on this side, we have all just packing materials. Pretty straightforward. I don't know if this lamp's gonna stay here. 
I, it's it's going there for right now. I don't know. Um, but this whole side is just packing materials, boxes. Um, I did a pretty good job actually of clearing a lot of stuff out before I moved. So I'm not like super maxed out on everything quite yet. But that is the Etsy shop wall. Still a work in progress, but better than what it was. Oh, okay. I need to move these. Amazon boxes out of the way here. Just self tanner, no big deal. No big deal. Whew. Well, it's slowly coming together in here. I do still have a box over here, but that box is actually for my bathroom. So that's going into the master bath that is back here. So at some point I will get to that. I think that is the last box in this room, which is very exciting. Um, just being in here and starting to work in here, I'm definitely seeing some things that I wanna do. Um, I'm really looking forward to painting, maybe getting some wallpaper in here. Um, just having, just having fun with it. But I do feel like I'm, I'm trying to slow my roll and just live with things for a while so that I can really see how I use the space, all of that good stuff, which I know I feel like I've said that a lot, but you get, you catch my drift here. But I'm happy with finally getting this sort of organized over here. I, I need to obviously do like a thorough unpacking of the things, which I will do kind of next as I gear up to kind of reopen my Etsy shop, which I'm really looking forward to because um, I've had it closed all year. So I'm ready to reopen it and kind of get some things rolling. I did I did just want to chat with you guys about one little extra plan that I'm potentially thinking about. You know, I've been going through the process of sort of archiving videos, archiving Patreon videos, because I have like, I don't know, hundreds of Patreon videos. I have hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos. So I've been archiving a bunch of old videos here on YouTube. Um, I naturally archive stuff on Patreon too, although there's still tons of stuff. Like There's still literally hundreds of videos for you to watch if you join my Patreon. What I'm thinking about doing though is creating a little, a little baby tier, like a $3 tier of some sort. I think I have, a, I have like a tip jar tier up there now, but actually like adding a proper reward to it where I would do mystery videos where every month you would get access to two mystery videos from the archive. Um, which I thought would be a kind of a fun, affordable way to kind of offer some video content. Or if you've been thinking about joining my Patreon, could be a, kind of a fun, cheap way to test the waters. I don't know. I haven't created that tier yet, but I'm definitely thinking about it. So let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear kind of what you think. But otherwise, I'm going to wrap up this little studio vlog here. We've had a... What was that? Oh my God. Okay, a door. A door just closed in my house somewhere. I have doors open. I got people working here today, oh my God. Anyways, I think that about wraps up this little studio vlog. It's been pretty jam packed, getting things sort of situated in here, opening up some PO box mail, um, dabbling with a little bit of art. I just, I need to, I need to actually sit down and make more art, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have made it this far, what emoji are we doing? Let's see, hmm. We did a lot of unpacking and moving around of things. So maybe like a box. Is there a box emoji? That could be kind of fun. Oh, there is a box emoji. Okay, so how about box a box emoji symbolizing the unpacking in here and this last remaining box that I will eventually unpack, but will realistically probably continue to sit there. It's fine. Anyways, thank you again for watching. If you're new here, subscribe, like this video if you liked it, uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.